Okay, guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to make a uh, dichotomous key, which we've been working on in class. Uh, we've done a lot of things by hand, but now I'm going to show you how to actually um, type that up using Microsoft Word. Okay, so first thing we got to do is get Microsoft Word open. All right, new blank document. Uh, once you do that, first thing you got to do is any intro items, such as a paragraph, you want to uh, tell us what the uh, key is about, any instructions, or uh, titles. So we're going to work with um, the one we did in class the other day, which is the uh, four pieces of fruit. So I'm going to put my uh, title up there, dichotomous key to identify fruit. Okay, always make sure, uh, check your spelling. All right, once I do that, uh, I'm all set. I'm not going to uh, add an intro paragraph. Okay, I'm just going to uh, go with the title for right now. Next thing you need to do is you need to format your key. Um, in order to do this, do you see where your, your paragraph uh, info is right here? In this little um, arrow down here, all right, you've got to get the paragraph dialog box up. So you're going to click that. Uh, once that's up, you want to go down to the tabs option. When you get there, um, you're going to type in number six in the box under the... Um, tab stop position label which you can see right here the tab stop position label you're going to type in six once you do that you're going to click the set button to make it appear in the list box below so i entered the six i'm going to come right down here to set i click on that and it appears um in the list box below okay yeah now mr clinton just came into the room so i'm giving him a you know a little lesson as well and uh as well as you guys um, so next thing you got to do is you got to click the number in the list box and select the right option underneath the alignment label. Okay, so we're going to click our number, which is in our list box, and then we're going to select the right option underneath the alignment label. Here's your alignment label. We're going to select the right option there. Okay? All right. Next, we're going to go to our leader options here. All right? Um, and we don't want none, which it's at, all right? With the, all the keys that we've been looking at in class, okay, we have our dots here. So this is the option um, that we're going to use. Once we do that, we hit OK, and our settings have been saved. All right, so once we did that, guys, next thing we got to do is we got to type our first um, dichotomous key rule, okay? And that was... Is it red? Okay, once we do that, we're going to hit the tab button on our keyboard. All right, hit the tab button on our keyboard, and then we're going to type our first step, which was go to step two. Okay, and you'll see that, and you'll see that looks just like. Uh, some of the keys that you've been using in class. All right, so next thing you got to do is you got to hit enter, and that's going to allow us to do additional rules and additional steps. So, 1B was, Mr. Kleinda, could you help me out, please? Uh, 1B is, is it not red? Is it not red? Okay, I hit the tab, and what was my rule? Where is it sending me? Says go to three. So go to step three. Following that, I hit enter and I have 2A. Mr. Kalenda, what does it tell me? C inside. All right. Uh, are seeds on the inside? Okay. Hit my tab. And what is the rule? Apple. All right. It's identified it. Um, the piece of fruit as an apple, okay? So I've identified that again. I hit enter. Now I'm at 2B. Mr. Klenda? Seeds outside. Are the seeds outside? Let's get that in there. Tab. Mr. Klenda? Strawberry. All right, we've identified it as a strawberry. All right, it's very, very uh, helpful to have Mr. Klenda down here to, uh, to assist us in this project here. 
Uh, so next I hit enter, I gotta go to step three because guys, keep in mind, all right? We have uh, three steps in this dichotomous key, four objects, all right? We talked about in class that you're always gonna have one less step than you do objects, all right? So we have four pieces of fruit, three steps. So 3A, Mr. Glenda? Orange. Is it orange? Okay, hit my tab, and? Orange again. All right, so we've identified the piece of fruit as an orange. Okay, one more time. I want to um, add 3B there. And what did it say for 3B, Ms. Glenda? Not orange. Is it not orange? Okay, tab, and? Banana. It's a banana. Okay. Um, so it looks like uh, I might have possibly uh, spelled a, no, okay, check our grammar, all right, we want it capitalized, okay. Um, and again, guys, I'm just going to, you know, do some simple formatting here, all right, I'm going to center my title, and I'm going to make it a little bit larger, okay. Um, there you go, okay, now your key is done. Now, the biggest thing all right, that some people don't do is save stuff, okay? You guys, you know, you do a great job creating your work, then you get so excited that it's done, you hit print and you forget to save. So I'm gonna save this, all right, to my, uh, my documents here. I'm actually gonna put it right on my desktop in case I need to access it uh, quickly. So that's saved and um, there you go. There's your directions on how to make a dichotomous key using Microsoft Word.